Let's talk about everything that's new in Armour 3D in this monthly November 2022 update. So here we have 50 new pull requests from some awesome contributors, so thank you so much for you guys for making these features possible. First and foremost, the letterboxing tool has now been updated and we have more control over the colour and that gives us a lot more customizability. But that's not the only colour related change, we also have full support for emission colours in all shaders that are supported by Armoury. So if you want to do things like mix shaders and add shaders, emission is supported with all those shaders when previously it wasn't the case with Armoury 3D. So a lot more colour related support going on here. But that's not the only thing, we also have a few updates to our nodes. For example, the go to location node now has a brand new height offset value that you can modify with the logic nodes. But that's not the only thing we have updated by Quantum Coder. We also have another update to a node, the sound node. We now can control the volume of our sounds in game dynamically. I've actually just made a video about sounds if you want to go check it out if you want to learn more about it. Obviously, this update isn't in that video, but it, I'm sure you can figure it out. You're a smart person, trust yourself. If you are a developer, however, we also have five bounties still available. So if you want to go ahead and make some contributions to Armour 3D and you know how to do that kind of stuff, you can go ahead and maybe start working on some parallax occlusion mapping and you can get paid if you've managed to figure out how to do it. There are many other four different things like high quality bloom or dynamic diffuse global illumination. A lot of things to make the uh, engine more pretty and a lot of things to make it much more uh, interesting. We also have a bunch of other things like the videos. If you go check it out, we have a brand new community channel. We have a bunch of features that are explained. This video itself is hosted on that community channel and it's not a channel that is owned by me specifically, it's for everyone. Anybody can upload any video here, as long as it's related to Alma 3D, obviously. So anything from a trailer for a project you're working on, or just a problem solving video where you can explain how to accomplish a specific feature or task. But we also have some more transparent updates. For example, we have the combined RGBA node, which is a new node, and we also have an addition to the separate RGB node, which has now become the separate RGBA node, so we have access to the alpha channels as well. All very useful stuff. But as always, this update doesn't just come with new features, but also bug fixes. For example, the get rigid body velocity node has now been completely fixed and works properly. Also building for Chrome on Windows has now been fixed. We also have some fixes for permission bugs with Linux and Mac OS, and a couple of other things that make your experience with Arm 3D that little bit better. And that sums up everything that's new with this November release of Arm 3D in 2022. If you want to go ahead and contribute then you can do that, link in the description, or you can go ahead and donate to keep Armory afloat. That's it for now, but I'll see you next month.